Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16. Wait a minute. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome to the Vegas Pro 17 full walkthrough. Vegas Pro 17 is officially released and I'm super excited to bring this walkthrough to you guys. And basically before I'm gonna start the video, if you want to pick up Vegas Pro 17, if you wanna buy it, or if you already have Vegas Pro 16 and you want to upgrade, make sure to check out the first link in the description. You can just go ahead and click on that link, buy it new, or if you don't want to pay the full price at once, you can also get it with a subscription that's only not even $12 a month. Link is in the description as always. Or upgrade it. So that's basically one of the one of the mansion guys. If you want to see this software after this walkthrough and you guys thought like, yo, I have to upgrade or I have to buy this, link is in the description. Okay, so now that the bomb is officially exploding and right now we can just celebrate the release of Vegas Pro 17. After you bought it or, or upgrade it, this is basically what we will see. So in this video, while Vegas Pro 17 is booting up, we are going to talk about, as you can see, how look how amazing this new intro screen is. But in this video, we're going to see and, you know, look through Vegas Pro 17, what is new and what we're going to basically uh, come across because I'm not going to show you guys all the new features in this one single video. Otherwise, this video is going to be uh, 30 minutes long, maybe even 45 minutes. And at the end, you will, you guys will probably forget like the first feature because this video was so long. So right now, I just booted up Vegas Pro 17 and we're going to just see through the software what is new and I'm going to make for each and every uh, new feature I'm going to create a separate video for that so keep an eye on the channel smash the like button down below for this new version and subscribe if you want to get notified anytime we upload a new video about Vegas Pro 17. Okay so as you can see if we boot up Vegas Pro 17 it's pretty it's pretty straightforward it's just the same uh, the layout is actually pretty much the same as Vegas Pro 16. We also have the preview right here we have our timeline Line, and we have also have this little menu on the left where you will see your audio track your video track So let's go ahead and right click on it and let's insert the audio track and let's insert a video track All right, so the video track will always be on top You can just drag this uh, a little bit more to the right if you want to adjust that and you can just also just drag the timeline down or up How you want to fully customize it now? We also want to have all the icons if you do not have these you can just click on uh, more buttons Edit visible button set and you want to click on show all and then it's going to show you guys all the icons that you guys need, obviously. All right, so pretty basic. The layout is kind of the same. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Project Media tab on the left. And right here in this menu, in the Project Media tab, you can see all the files that are in your project. So let's see that you are looking for a sound effect that you cannot find, but you dragged it into Vegas. You can just find that in that menu. So all the files you drag in your project will appear right here. And then we have the Explorer tab. And this is basically if you want to explore some different folders, uh, for example, the desktop, you can just drag these things into your timeline. Nothing too special, just like other versions. We also have transitions and also we have uh, a couple new transitions that are standard in here. So I want to mention that the, all these new blue ones do not come with Vegas Pro. These are my plugins. They do not come with Vegas Pro standards. So you have to get these externally. But if we scroll down under the new blue, also these S underscore also my plugins. And as you can see, we also have just the transitions that we also had in Vegas Pro uh, 16 and previous versions of Vegas Pro. So let's go to the video effects tab. And right here we have, for example, like 360 degree stabilization, all these recent features. We also have auto looks, meaning that we have like really, really cool color grading presets that you can just drag onto your video. It is really cool. Just like last version, we also have Beezer masking, meaning that we can uh, auto track, uh, for example, like the, the, the backlight of a car and make that glow. It's going to follow that. You guys know how that works. The Beezer masking, you guys 
have probably seen that. If not, check out this card right here. Check out the bees are masking or just check out the video when this video is done. Right here, we have black and white, uh, black restore border, brightness and contrast, bump map, channel blend, chroma blur, chroma key, cr color balance, all these things that we also have in previous versions. So if you scroll through just a little bit, right here, we have dual fish eyes stitching. I'm just going to look into that in future videos, obviously. If I scroll a little bit more down, we also have just the standard ones that we also had in previous versions. Like I mentioned, then we have these new blue ones, these external ones that you have to get. So let's scroll down just a little bit. We also have just the same pixelate, uh, pinch punch, picture in picture. We also have uh, the vignette effect, TV simulator, the time code, uh, the starburst, anything like that. All right, so let's go to media generator. So this is basically where you can get your checkerboards, where you can get your credit rolls. If you want to credit, for example, people of your movie, you can also have the color gradients. And if you scroll down until under the presets, we also have solid colors. If you want to drag in colors, we have titles and text. If you want to have text on your video, very straightforward. You guys know how that works. But right here, this one is new, which is called project notes. And right here, you can just write down everything that you do not want to forget in a new project. So let's click on add new note. And let's say that we're going to type in color grading. If you click on there, this is basically what it looks like. Then we can just add in another note, for example, add music. Then we can also add in another note, for example, like lower background songs. So this is basically like a little notepad, like, or like a checklist that you can, uh, for example, uh, check when that is done. So you won't forget any tasks uh, for your videos, because if you're creating videos at like a next level, you want your videos to look all the same, like the same color grading structure, your videos. So you can just go ahead and check these like resolved, resolved is really, really cool. And you can just basically uh, see and add in notes. I don't want to forget the color grading. I need to add music. So that's a really, really cool reminder uh, that you can actually use. All right. So let's look at the features list and let's see what is new. So right here we have an improved storyboard functionality. The most significant improvements are that you can add the same piece of media to a single storyboard and thumbnails reflect to the point of the media, planner, motion tracking, display event length on timeline event, super smooth slow motion, warp flow transition, smart split edit, mesh warp plugin, including abilities to set the grid size to one so that you can adjust four corner points to conform your video to a non-rectangular force sided surface temporarily ignore event grouping when moving events indicator on new to show if media level effects have been applied to the media the event holds even hamburger menu we have guided video creator we have confirmation that you want to cancel the render uh, we have lens correction fx plugin stabilization at event level visualize stabilization motion tracks collaboration center window automatic slideshow creator adjustable color temperature enhancement to white balance plugin audio synchronization for multicam workflow so you have tons and tons of new features but obviously i'm going to cover these in multiple videos spread over like um maybe like 10 15 videos about the new features and then we're going to just start exploring and what you can do with these features instead of showing them how to use them okay so right here we have nested timelines can access this through bot buttons on the timeline toolbar or the event context menu button glyphs and locations are not final because that was obviously in the beta but when the when phase pro 17 is released which is right now everything is fully ready to go. 8K support through proxy workflow. We have hardware decoding for AVC and HEVC available on supported NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, we have warning when you delete a track with an event on it. Two new preference tabs. Not a lot to say here. It's mainly just organization addition. We have HDR color support enhancements, GPU based processing. So guys, this is just packed with brand new features, HI DPI interface improvements. Oh, and guys, there's a really, really awesome feature that's going to let you apply color grading, LUT filters, everything like that. I'm going to show you guys just how that works real, real quick. So what you want to do is you want to select everything in your timeline that you want to have these color graded effects applied to. Then what you want to do is press Alt G and then it brings up this awesome menu where you can actually see all these markers that are actually new. And you can just go ahead and for example, drag it like that. And you can just real, real simple, apply these amazing color grading presets onto it. You can also just drag them into different areas for different colors for example it's really really amazing how you want to apply these and obviously you can also load in LUT filters if you click on input LUT you can just click on browse and then you want to select the dot cube file and then it's going to apply that onto your video it's really really cool you also have color channels where you can like increase the blue increase the green and the red it's really really amazing guys and this is just a really quick feature I'll be going in depth to into another video as well so stay tuned for that now let's continue with the video 
We have the LUT export. We have save any effects chain as a cube file. Click the save LUT button in the plugin chooser window. Keep in mind that all the plugins in the chain will be considered in the LUT export. The user will need to remove slash bypass any plugin that doesn't make sense. Basically anything that alters the pixels of the video like vignette, pixelate masking, only color related plugins will give predictable results. So that basically means that you can now just save LUT filters and LUT filters are basically like color grading presets, uh, which is really, really cool guys. We have all these new features Features. And the system requirements are actually pretty obvious because Vegas Pro 17 is a brand new software, well, a new version, and it requires uh, Windows 10, 1920 by 1080, which is recommended, the CPU, the sixth generation Intel Core i5 or AMD equivalent or better, 2.5 gigahertz and a four core minimum for 4K, seventh generation Intel Core i7 or AMD equivalent or better, 3.0 gigahertz and eight core minimum because 4K footage is like really, really heavy. 4K is four times 1080p so that explains the quality the ram which is 8 gigabytes minimum will have 32 so we're set on that which is 16 gigabytes is recommended 32 is recommended for 4k the graphics card it can be an nvidia it can be an amd it can be intel but you just want to make sure that you have at least four gigs of ram just for the optimal performance so for the rest of the video i think vegas pro 17 works exactly the same because if let like rendering a video works exactly the same click file click render as and obviously if you guys are wondering alex what are the best render settings for vegas pro 17 that video is coming really, really soon, guys. I'm not going to go in depth in too many features in this uh, walkthrough because I just wanted to show you guys what is new. And if this video went by too fast, make sure you just pause it and rewind it to that feature list so you can just read it out and see what is actually new, guys. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you want to go ahead and pick up Vegas Pro 17 or do you want to upgrade from Vegas Pro 15 or from Vegas Pro 16 to 17, link is in the description. Make sure to go ahead and check it out. So guys, that's it for this walkthrough. A lot of new feature added a lot of new videos are coming about vegas pro 17 and its new features make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and guys we're gonna also run a giveaway which i'll be releasing soon in a brand new video so many cool things are on its way and i'll see you guys obviously in my next video